Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. Last episode was an interesting one. What a treat, hopefully for you guys. Something I didn't expect to be doing, but people had asked for it for a long time. And honestly, it was kind of interesting. Kind of feels weird not having the face cam here now, but... We are back on the regular episode, regular series. Well, I say regular series. It's a new save file. We're jumping in. Uh, we're going to start a run as Job. I did go in and reset all of my save data for all my mods because some of them hadn't wiped correctly. I've also unfortunately had to disable Ipecac for now just because... It was causing some errors that were glitching a few things out. I spoke to the developer, they're fine with it. It's going to get fixed in due time. But anyways, we jump into a new run um, and we do get our Christmassy boy to start off. Uh, I'm going to start off right away with the question of the day here. What is something... Oh, we get more than more than one Christmas gift here. Bit of a cheaty way to start a run, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to say no to free gifts. How many do we get from you? Oh, we actually get an item from this guy. Okay. I mean, I'll take Bedbug off the bat. I mean, as long as people are okay with it. But yeah, we did die in the last episode. A um, little bit unfortunate. Ooh, that is that is an item that I love to see. A um, little bit unfortunate, uh, but... Oh, here we go. We got secret room already. But I'm never not going to take risks. I'm never going to min-max. I don't care if it's the first episode, the last episode, the whatever episode. I'm taking the whiz. And you know it. <laughs> if it makes my runs wacky, I'm taking it. So, unfortunately for the people that don't want to see me die all the time, it's going to happen. I, I, I am going to try and have less deaths in this series, but I'm not going to not take a bunch of devil deals and not take the whiz shot when given the opportunity. I mean, that's just not me. Um, but anyways, regardless of what happened in the last episode, this is this episode. And yeah, I want to jump straight into the question of the day. What's something that you're starting anew? What's something that you've started that's new recently? Or something that you're restarting new? Because I was kind of thinking about the whole idea of the new save file. And it's kind of more and more wacky the more I think about it. Like, this is legitimately the first time I've started a new save file since before YouTube. Like, I started my new save file when I started my channel. So it's been at least like getting on for five years now since I started a new save file. Uh, it's it's been a really long time. Ooh, also we have what sounds to be a crawl space in here. Uh, of course, by the way, I decided to play Job here because we do have uh, modded characters or a lot of them at least unlocked from the get go. Um, and so I wanted to play some of them. And Job is a very vanilla style modded character. So I think we do have some errors in the console for Job. Yes, we do. But I've spoken to the developer. They don't seem to be a problem. It's fine. Um, it's not causing any other things to error out by the looks of it. Um, and I think I can possibly fix it, but I've just not put in the time or effort to do so. But yeah, apparently we do actually have a crawl space maybe here. I'm also sat in my new chair and it's, it's, it's very, very comfortable, but it's, it's kind of finding the right groove with it because it's, it's new to me. It's different. It's always weird when you have a change. It's all, it's all new. It's a new year. It's a new save file. Is this just all the teleport cards? It is. Um, I'd probably rather take maybe the Emperor here. Emperor seems good. I could go for the full card to get out of that cash room there. Um, we do have a soul heart in here. I do need to donate, but I'm going to go for this first. And I'm going to go over and grab um, the moon card here. And then go in here and get get whatever goodies are in store for me here. Uh, I'll, I'll take a... It's kind of interesting. I'll take that. Um, and that's a lot of money. Lovely. So I think now we do our due diligence. We take the money that we have just garnered. Take the beautiful pennies that we now have acquired. And we put them into our machine. We pay it back. And we get the blue map. I love the fact that we've got that coloured achievement thing that also gives us... A description of what we did to earn that achievement. I think that's such a good addition to the game. Um, and also with the other um, the other one that I'm using. The uh, one that means there's no no more uh, co-op baby unlocks. They're all... Everything actually unlocks items now. I think that's so much better. It does mean that some things that wouldn't normally be locked are going to be locked. Which is potentially a downside for some people. But I think it gives us more reason and more of a goal to go hunting unlocks. And go trying to actually do stuff which i'm yeah i'm really happy about so is bedbug just like a really slow moving dude because i didn't actually really read the description of what he did i'll be honest i will be entirely honest i didn't really read his description but remember we're not gonna have all path to go to we really want to be trying to play speedy to go with boss rush and hush whenever we can give us an eternal heart again 
Oh, this isn't the one that gives us a heart. That's Mum's lipstick. And a stupid. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. But yeah, Dog's Tooth, as long as we can get bombs to, um, bombs to accommodate Dog's Tooth, it should be a super, super good get early on. I mean, just getting the early damage is pretty nice. I think I'm actually going to use my Emperor card here. Let me grab that penny first before I forget it. Um, and I'm going to go and do the same thing I did last time, but with my Emperor card. Um, I will do this. It's a little risky, but I'm going to take it. And there's our bomb. And then we Emperor card out. Oh, you can't Emperor... You can't use cards while you're feared. Interesting. I did not know that. we got this available now. Oh, God. You're a little bit of a tricky one, aren't you? This is a this is a rather tricky room. I like the way the room is literally just called uh, Gemini Funky Rocks. I would most certainly agree. I think when we actually have to fight the little dude, which I can never remember his name, but he does have a name. But whenever we actually get around to fighting that guy, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit trickier than normal... Yep, it definitely is, because um, there's a lot of space where we can't hit him. Now, I could just use a bomb to clear out some room, but I'm reckoning I can do this with only getting hit once, or maybe not at all. That's 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 just me being wishful. That's, 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 that's my wishful thinking, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be playing a new save file, and I'm really excited to... Aw, oh, really? I was so close. This time we're going to go Angel Deal uh, because I actually want to get a victory this time and not die like a goober. Um, also, I want to try and maybe unlock Maggie. Uh, character unlocks are something we should be prioritizing early on if we can. If we can. Key. Get that open. Ooh, we did get a Glass D4. I will carry that, but right now, honestly, our items aren't that good, but Dogtooth is... Just that on its own is good enough for me to want to carry. Well, maybe, uh, well, sorry, to carry on. Uh, we'll maybe carry this Glass D4 for another two or three floors and just see where it leads us and then make a decision after that. Okay, this is going to be a slightly tricky room just because of the poop spewing bastard here, but he should go down relatively quickly. It's also very really interesting to be playing a new save file with the difficulty, sort of, we've got the easier part of, of like, when you're early game and Isaac, you don't have many bosses unlocked, you don't have everything is terrible or whatever it is. Uh, but we have the harder part of Fiend Folio. So we've actually made the early game quite a lot harder on ourselves. But I love that. I love more difficulty. And obviously I love Fiend Folio, so it's just a match made in heaven, really. Oh, so I think Bedbug moves around faster when he gets hit and there's the bombs to accommodate. Right, did I hear a bark? I did. Most likely here that it is um we got we got the dog bark here there's so many rocks to go at it's a little tricky on use explodes we don't really want to go with an active to be honest so i think i'm just gonna go with uh with this here see what the card is judgment i'm gonna bomb both of these i realize i could play into them to get some hp but that's kind of what i was hoping for right I know there's a crawl space in that room. I just, it's when, do, it's its sort of working out when I go for it. Oh, really? I just used my uh, active in a room that doesn't have any enemies. I just assumed. Assume it makes an ass out of you and me. We all know that. Um. Oh, toy chest. I would love toy chest. Toy chest is an item that has such meany potential. Such meme potential. Let's uh, let's try and get it, shall we? We do have the insta kill on fires. By the way, if you want to check out my mod list, um, but both of my mod lists, I have two, um, are in the description. My graphic mods are not on there, but that's because I have my own custom pack that's made up of a bunch of different mods. So I apologize. Uh, but if anyone does really want that, I can maybe upload it to my Discord and people can join my Discord to take a look. Um, we might have to leave the toy chest, which is... Very upsetting. Uh, did we already do the boss this floor? We did. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm listening to, for my other wolf howl. I've not heard it yet. Is there no second secret room here? Hmm. I don't know where the second secret room is this time around. It can't be off of the shop, I don't think. I could maybe bomb the shopkeeper for potential, but... 
I don't know where the second secret room is. Unless... I'm going to take a gamble here and say that it's directly below. And it's, it's faking me out with the growl for this door. Yes. Okay, and there's the pennies we require. Beautiful. I realize I've just sort of spoken about the fact that we need to be quick and speedy. And now I'm taking something that's an incredible risk to my entire run. But leave me be. Turnip, Swallow Dem 90, Damned Soul, and Teardrop Charm. All of those are really good. Um... The Swallowed M90 is kind of interesting. Is that just a gun that would happen? That we just fire a gun when we get hit sometimes. It's like the Swallowed M80, but... Anyways, interesting. Interesting. Let's go to the next floor. We are very, very slow right now. I'm pretty happy with the items we've got so far. I don't think I'm going to go with the, uh, the Glass D4 quite yet, but I'm going to keep it in pocket. Keep it in check just in case. Can't believe we used all our bombs that floor. Uh, we do have a secret room directly below us here. But, I think, while I have you all here, we should talk more about Christmas, because that's just been, and it was an incredible time. Um, I kind of spoke last episode about um, the Christmas party we had where we ended up accidentally burning my mum's air fryer um, and, like, melting all the plastic and filling the room with fumes. That was kind of interesting. It was just a very, sort of drunken fueled night it was it was good though it was good though um i really like because i, I was saying before that like my family's kind of got into the to, into the tradition of hosting the new uh not the new year's party sorry the um oh, look what we got in here let's donate the rest here um got into out the tradition of hosting the boxing day party and i really really enjoy those yes store upgrade is what we're looking for I really, really enjoy those. They're a really good time. Um, having the ability to have everyone round, is, like not not just friends. Um, oh, it literally is, and oh, that's pretty awesome. It literally is a gun. Um, yeah, it's 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 really fun. It's really nice being able to see like I I I often get to see family members that I haven't seen in a really long time because now I don't live in the same city as my parents anymore. Um, I very rarely get to see like my aunties and my uncles and stuff. My mum has quite a few sisters and brothers, so. Got a lot of aunties and uncles to see that I don't really get to see. Uh, why did that spawn? That's not meant to spawn. False. Okay, there might be some settings in here that aren't quite correct. Or aren't quite saving correctly, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But that, they, they shouldn't be spawning. Some more pennies. We're getting a lot of sacks here. We, we, are, we have minus one luck as this guy. Do you normally start with minus one luck or do I somehow get minus one luck? I don't know. Although I am seeing that our um, our turnip that uh, we that we swallowed from the toy chest has. Um, I'm not having you eat all of this crap. Salt machines have a 75% chance to something. I didn't get a chance to see it. Get out of here, you rage fueled monster! Come on, die fool! Right, what, what, what did this do again? Oh, wait, it, um, it changed into flatworm. Okay, that's part of the issue with, um, with this. These errors, basically, there's something to do with the trinkets that are from the, um, that are from the, the gerb mod. Basically, that means that sometimes, or every time I pick up a trinket from the gerb mod, it will automatically just get re-rolled into another trinket, which, it's annoying, but it's not disastrous. It's not disastrous. It is as it is. As it is. Parasitoid Tears. Gotta love that. My goodness. And then, I think I'm gonna go for a bomb here. Parasitoid Tears, yeah. I think, I think honestly, Glass D4... I'm throwing in the towel for you. You can stay in this room so I don't accidentally use you. Because, honestly, we have a run here that I'm quite liking. Now, minus luck with Parasitoid isn't exactly what we'd hope for. Uh, but, I'll take it. Secret room there. Lovely secret room. Very good. Very nice. If we get another bomb, we can maybe bomb into that dice room and see if it's like a five room or something. I think at this point, I've kind of given up on the idea of um, us being able to... Whoopsie. We've got our M80. Does it carry over through rooms? It does. Um, I've given up on that idea. But, like I said before, because of the pretty strict timer and the fact that it doesn't even kill that guy in one hit. Wow. Uh, because of the pretty strict timer and the um, 
The fact that Fiend Folio makes things take a lot longer. I have asked what you guys would think about me adding a mod that removes those timers. I'm still not sure about that. I'd like a mod that just allows you to customize the length of the timers so I don't have to completely disable them. But I could just add like five minutes onto each sort of thing. Um, but at the minute, they are very, very hard to reach because of the Fiend Folio floor length. Uh, obviously, the floors aren't any longer, but the enemies are tougher, which just does just mean it takes longer to get through the floors themselves. We should be getting our first angel deal of the run here, hopefully, on a 30% chance. Ah, I was just saying that hopefully. I knew I wasn't going to get it. But we did just get a very good item. A huge tiers up for a guy that already has high tiers. 7.43, looking beautiful. And I think we're good to leave this floor. I don't have to worry about as much early game while we're in the early days of the save file. Because there just isn't as much to think about. I'm still trying to get unlocks and stuff. I'm still trying to do specific things. But a lot of stuff is just kind of as it goes. Uh, we'll definitely grab that. I'm going to grab this as well. And honestly, obviously, that's free. Good, good. So we did get a howl there, but we don't know if it's left or right. I'm going to check it out via this, so it is the right way. It's good that we checked. Yeah, parasitoid tears. Oh, my God. Keep getting hit by stupid shit. I guess I'm a failure at this game sometimes. Yeah, so below us here. Oh, God, he's got Cricket's body. There's also a Tinted Rock right there. There's unlocks for destroying so many Tinted Rocks. Definitely want a nice little list of unlocks I should be looking out for from you guys. That would be super helpful. I really kind of want to have like a somewhat cooperative experience with this save file where people in the comments section are getting involved with things I should be doing. Maybe suggesting what challenges I should do next. Obviously, do remember I do backlog my videos. So I'm not always going to be able to respond to that straight away. I'm not going to respond to a request that you make in one video by the time I upload the next one but if you guys really want me to do a specific challenge then I can keep it in mind and make sure it's something that comes up soon sort of thing or if there's a specific unlock that people really want me to go for first but with one of the modded characters or with one of the characters that we've unlocked then I'd love to see that um as long as they're within the guidelines of what is currently plausible what bosses we actually have available and unlocked then I'll more than happily go for those. Um, and I, like I said, I always like getting involved with you guys in the comments. It's why I do the question of the day. I like seeing and reading them. Um, and it gives me a jumping off point for my commentary. But yeah, I really like it for that reason too. And having the ability to kind of co-op some, um, some of the unlocks on what we should go for next and stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of fun. So please, please, please do make sure to leave your comments and stuff about that. Also... Go check out the second channel, if you haven't already. There's some good stuff there. I hope. And, oh, this is, this is actually precious. This is actually precious. That is one of the greatest items to get alongside, um... I don't really get how any of the rest of this works. Like, how do I get to the rest of these? Is it just a random chance of which key you get and I got lucky? Or was I meant to open that and that would give me one of those two keys? I'm going to guess that's the case. Anyways, Myrmycosis plus um, uh, Parasitoid Shots is... I think those two just work together so damn well. Oh, Molten Dime. Molten Dime is just one of those items that I love. But we, we risked it last run. And this run is actually going quite well. So I'm going to... And, and also, we're a character where our active item means a lot to us. Hey, the Butterbean has been unlocked. Uh, wait, we're a character where our active item means a lot to us, so I'd rather keep it, to be honest. <laughs> I love the fact that the uh, the shots of them we are, like, flatwormed and look really dodgy. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, I think we should open up both of these. Excuse me, sir. We got the Nord Leaf, which is pretty damn good. Especially if we come into a situation where uh, we might want to stand completely still and get a free win. Good, good. I'll open that up as well. We could get a Magic Mush. Ah, oh, I'm always praying for it. What the hell's this? Upon destroying or re-rolling this trinket, spawn two to four random pickups. Seems hard to destroy or re-roll a trinket in most no normal circumstances, right? I would think. I would think. God damn, we got a lot of tears. 
This guy's pooping all over the place. Tears up each time you take damage, reaching the maximum effects uh, strength or gulps the trinket. What? <laughs> that sounds awesome. We'll take that. I'm sure eventually we'll reach the maximum. And as, as this character, it seems pretty damn good. We also got a... Uh, I think that was a, a bark there, which means we've got a crawl space in here. That dude almost got me. I'll give it to him. He almost got me. Let me just let me just check that. Yes. So. Damn. Okay. I was gonna go for it, but honestly, now. Nah. I'll I'll, I'll commit. I'll commit. Bet. Don't you be that rock. Okay. Thank you. If it, if it was that last rock, I would have been really pissed off. We got glass cannon. <laughs> Unfortunately, an item we can't even take. So. <sighs> Not really worth it in the end, but what's done is done. But yeah, we're going to be attaching a lot of shots to enemies and causing all the havoc. I really like the combination of Parasitoid and Muramycosis. I think they just work so well together. So, like, they, they fit the theme really well. A, and then we got more tiers. Tier size down, which is kind of a shame, but fine and we get a reflected jesus juice which means we get two jesus juice um our tears are so tiny um i don't think there's any chance that bombing the angel can do anything for us but i think there's an unlock for bombing the angel you can't even bomb the angel yet okay that's fair um i really should shit should should search the rest of the floor, but here we go. Here we go. But you see what I mean? We're currently at depths one, and we're already at 19 minutes almost, so... It would be very hard to reach boss rush in 20 minutes on a regular run. It's, it's not impossible. We've done it plenty of times before. It's just, it's significantly harder. Um, and so that's kind of where the idea came from of removing the timer. But I'm really all for whatever you guys want. If you guys want to do it that way, I'll do it that way. If you guys would rather me have a little bit of a harder time, um, then I'm all for that as well. I'm so glad we got double Jesus juice there. That's so good. Also, I had tiny, tiny baby little tears. They're so cute. Was this a wolf howl I heard there? It was. Dog tooth, you amazing bastard. Unfortunately, we're just getting key after key after key, and we don't really need them. I forgot these guys could shoot. I really like our tiny little tears with all the effects we've got going on right now. I really don't use my uh, my active enough in regular rooms. It's a three room charge. I really should be using it a lot more than I do. You're not getting that head, buddy. Ooh, we got an immortal heart. They are very, very good. I'm surprised they aren't an unlock, but I suppose they're like a, a standalone mod, so it makes kind of sense. But they are very, very good. Getting one of them this early on should secure... A decent amount of HP for us. We are one red heart away. I'm pretty sure one red heart away from unlocking Maggie. So that would be super nice to see from this boss fight here. Okay, let's go back this way. We do also have another secret room here, which I believe to be right here. Thank you for showing me the way. Um, I don't actually need to grab the spicy key tree. Really. Holy hell. Hey, Lazarus has been unlocked. We'll probably play Lazarus in the next episode then. Lazarus, of course, being with the rework that he has, is a lot of a lot more of a fun character than it used to be. Playing it close to the line, dying all the time. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. One moment. Right, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. I've recently uh, been messing around my video settings as well for stuff for the second channel, and it has increased my file size of my videos by quite a margin. My va my my Isaac videos used to be like three gig, four gig, max of like six, seven, and now they're like fifty. <laughs> I've really whacked up my file size by an insane amount, but it should lead to higher quality of video, especially on the second channel stuff. So it's fine. Also, it should lead to less lag while I'm playing too, which is. Always a massive bonus. 
always an absolutely massive bonus. Get out of here, you. God damn, I'm so happy with the double Jesus juice. Reflected items, you're glorious. You're the best. Okay, item room should be just through here. Oh god. Um, what are we meant to be doing here? That room was scary. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I realize that this guy is rare into go. There he goes. Scary bastard. I'll do this, why not? Really? Just double trinkets? Not really the result I was hoping for. We might lose our immortal heart here, so just be prepared for that eventuality. I don't like those guys bouncing off those towers there. Kringa to finish it off, or Dingo, whatever they're called. Dingo, Kringa. One of those. Okay, we managed to get it back. Good, good, good. Keep that thing alive. Just precious cargo. Spawn three random capsules, we might as well. And we get some tears up and some speed. All pretty good. Let's play the tears up. We're at seven base tears now. Wow. That's pretty insane. For 4.2 damage, that's actually crazy. And we get flush, which is actually good. We should always pick some stuff up when we see it, really. Uh, flush is actually really good, but it's a bit too late for it. And our active is just so good. Our active just carries, so... Right. Let's make our way over here. Uh, do 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 do. Hello, boss man. I might just tower card the boss. I mean, you literally jumped into, like, the worst possible location for yourself there, so I'm happy about that. Also, the watch out laser beams. Super happy about that. Yeah, we are killing pretty fast. It's so it's so funny when you've got this damage with these tiny, tiny tears. And um, we do get to gulp our trinket, and we get plus two soul hearts, and we get another one there. We might as well check out a devil deal now. Um, that's a blackout and use passively doubles damage taken, and then we've got ghost baby. I think I'm going to leave both of those, to be honest. I'd rather try and go for Maggie and get one more HP up. I don't know where I'd get it from, mind you, but I'm close. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'll buy that, see what it is. Soccer. Strange. I don't know what that is. Someone's a soccer ball that can be knocked around and damage enemies. All right. Wasn't expecting it to be that, but interesting to see that it is. Very, very nice. There's our extra heart that I was talking about. That's pretty much guaranteed with the amount of health we have protecting it, so... Very good, very nice. It literally is a huge 3D soccer ball. What the hell? It's having a hard time because it's got something stuck to it. I find that funny. It's having a really hard time, actually. Damn, maybe we should have taken Ghost Baby for Conjoined. Oh well. Oh uh, well. I love these enemies. So good. Oh, we got secret room here. Oh, we don't have a bomb. It's fine. What? Oh, ho, ho. I risked it then. There's no reason I should have ran through that there. Okay, that creep almost did me in. But the Immortal Heart saves the day once again. They are so good. It's literally like having a Holy Mantle. It's a Holy Mantle you can lose, but still, it's a Holy Mantle. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Honestly, um, Headless Baby is kind of creeping me out with his creep. <laughs> creeping me out with his creep. Because I, I can't... I keep forgetting which is mine and which isn't. Oh, great. 
More keys, that's what we needed this this time. Keys are really what we're what we're looking for. Oh god. That enemy, the, the ghosty boy, is so scary. What champion are you? That's a poop champion. Is that just a regular vanilla champion? I don't remember that champion. I, I swear I've seen it before, but like, is it modded? Feels modded. It's cool though. I will accept it. It might just be exceedingly rare. Probably is just vanilla, but exceedingly rare. The game does that sometimes. Or maybe it's Fiendfolio. Fiendfolio likes to do wacky, weird, rare things. Could be that. Okay, we've seen our shop and we've seen our item room, and it isn't an XL floor. I think we're just going to go for the boss here. There's a small chance we can get Hush still. I don't even know if Hush spawns if you haven't unlocked Cathedral and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, I'll be honest. But I'm going to uh, figure it out, aren't I? I guess. I'm going to figure it out. We're killing stuff pretty quick though. There's, there's, a, there's a good chance we can make it in 30 minutes to find out. We also get the smooth stone. Boss and enemies uh, take extra damage. We get uh, some base damage as well. Very good. Very nice. Next floor. Let's try and speed through this. I kind of wish I had saved my Emperor card from way back early on for this moment here. But that should be a Maggie unlock. Unless Maggie's six hearts. I always thought it was five. Maggie might be six hearts, you know. Whoopsie. Missed opportunity there. Oh, well. Bloody hell, I stepped in the creep. Also, we only take half heart damage on our uh, thingy here. On our eternal heart, immortal heart, we you want to call it. So, we're going to be taking very little damage until we lose that thing. Okay, let's just hope we actually pick the right way here. What the bugger? Got it back again. Good, good. Get it to 9.83 fire rate. Job is just so fun for tier effects and fire rate. Such a simple character, but just so enjoyable. Okay, plowing through. Oh, for God's sake, we did go the wrong way. I had a feeling. I was really hoping that we hadn't for this floor. I'm just leaving stuff behind at this point because we ain't, we ain't got the time. We ain't got the time to be messing around with no tree enemies either. Everything's taking forever to kill. Tried to play speedy here. I'm pretty sure we've lost our opportunity unless we get a, a card that helps us. But still, I will make a valiant effort. Feels weird having such, like, comparatively low damage for the floor that we're on. It's still being, like, monstrously good. Unfortunately, stepping the creep there. Bombing out. Can't be asked. Please. Let me go. No, it was the wrong way again. Are you kidding me? How? It's over. It's over. That's it. We're done. That is such a shame. How did I go the wrong way this many times? It's right here as well. It's not over. It's not over. We could have a really good next floor. And it could it could surprise the hell out of us. If only this enemy wasn't a bastard to kill. It's Mr. Fred. He is going to take a little bit of time, but he is the, the revised Mr. Fred, which is easier in some regards, harder than others. Easier because normally you can get a lot closer to him. He doesn't fire as much creep. Rosary. Rosary, Gosary. Right. Pretty sure we can't make it. We have, like, just over a minute, I think. But if we pick the right way off the bat... Which is not what we've done straight away. And we have no bombs. And we picked a room with very slow to kill enemies too. Good, good, good. Really got the ball rolling on this one, didn't I? Do you not die? Come on. Oh, 
There's always one dead end at the start and it frustrates me. I lost my immortal heart. God damn it. I'm playing too fast. I'm playing too fast. Oh, I still went the wrong way. It's done. When you try so hard, but you don't succeed. This has been truly devastating. The definition of wrong turn. Oh, balls. This is a hard room. I'm still rushing for it, but yeah, another wrong turn. Man, the womb is fucking brutal for wrong ways. Just let me go the right way. Even just fucking once. Just one time. One single time can I not take the wrong way, please. I don't know what it is about the womb, but it's just so impossible to actually go the way that you want to go. Every single point that you can take a wrong turn, you do. If anyone's got some, like... Words of wisdom for how the hell you get through this floor without falling for its maze-like bullshit. I would be eternally grateful. There was no way we were making this anyways, regardless of when the right went the right way, because there's a lot of big rooms and stuff, but... Just like, come on. You could just be a li little bit kinder, please. Because Hush would have been an easy kill, because, like, even if we got low health, we have, um... Nord Leaf. We could have just, like, left my PC on overnight and waited until it finished. You watch me take every single right turn now. Every single correct turn to get to the boss. Yeah, slightly difficult room here. I wish I had bombs to just bomb through all this crap, but I didn't save them. Dog Tooth ate them all up. Of those fellas. Yep, literally went the exact right way to head straight for the boss. Would you believe it? But this is where the run's gonna end, because this is our first Mum's Heart kill. I'm pretty sure if Hush opens, it lets you continue, even on your first Mum's Heart kill. I might be wrong. It might have not made a, diff a difference at all. It might have just ended here anyways, but... Anyways, this was a very fun run. Very interesting job run. And yeah, you, you do get the opportunity. Oh, that's really cool the way the tears have stopped around it like this. But, but yeah, we would have been able to go to Hush here, which is just, yeah, a bit of a shame. But that's how it goes sometimes. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.